buffer information what is the role of buffer in web application what is the need of buffer in web application and what are the profits what are the disadvantages what are the advantages limitations of the buffer in our web application let us learn let us learn today so buffer is also called as cache buffer is also called as cache buffer is a temporary memory that holds output for temporary period of time so browser window keeps the servlet program generated output in buffer buffer one thing is keep your mind buffer is a temporary memory that holds the output of a output for temporary period so you can call the buffer also as a cache so browser window keeps the servlet program browser window keeps the servlet program generated output in a buffer before displaying it as a web page and uses buffer data across a multiple same request what is the meaning of this one take an example if you are giving the request to the same page for multiple times first time you give the request and you got the response second time you get the you, you give the request uh, you give the request third time uh, again request four time request if you are giving multiple requests for the same web page or web resource program at that time what happens the buffer the browser will check whether that page has been already requested by the client or not if that page has been already requested by the client to the server then browser will load that already stored output already program generated output in a buffer and display the same output as a web page so because of that reason browser window keeps the servlet program browser window window keeps the servlet program generated output in a buffer before displaying it as a web page and uses buffer data uses buffer data across multiple same request in this process browser window may also may also show old result old results collected from the buffer even though servlet is ready to give the updated result means as i said to you first of all browser checks whether that page has been already requested or not if it is requested then that output is available of that request output is available in a buffer or not if it is available then same output will be displayed that output may be old that output may be old or previous one so because of that reason in this process the browser window may also show old result collected from the buffer even though servlet is ready even though servlet is ready to give the updated result to make a browser window for not keeping outputs in the buffer to make a browser window for not keeping outputs in the buffer we need to use cache control we need to use cache control or or in program response header like this cache control like in here response dot set header is a method response dot set header is a method here you have to pass cache control you have to pass cache control no cache but here cache control is based on http 1.1 server based up but whereas for a older version of http protocol we can use response dot set header here i can pass pragma pragma is the attributes here also you have to pass no cache is the value uh, let me explain what happens what happens when the buffer is not disabled what happens when the buffer is not disabled by default buffer is enabled for every browser one thing is keep your mind by default buffer is enabled for every browser so let me show that buffer when the buffer is disabled when the buffer is disabled or not disabled let me proceed for not disabled so here this is the diagram so let me open with the paint so here i open with the paint let me draw this diagram take an example sir he here when the buffer is not disabled when the buffer is not disabled what happens when the buffer is not disabled this is by default in nature this is my browser window this is my browser window here is my web page here is my web page so here i am trying to give the request i am trying to give the request so here first time 
So here I'm giving the request. So from here to here, from here to, I'm sending the request to the particular solid program. So here is the request. And from here to, I'm sending the request to here boss. Now here, let me give the name as a one A as a request. From here, first time when the request, when the response get generated from the servlet program, the servlet programs sends the response to the buffer. Send the response to the first browser and that response will be gathered by the buffer. Response will be gathered by whom boss? Buffer. Then after gathering the buffer, then the output will be displayed. Then the output will be displayed here. So here is the output I can show you. Now fine, again, let me go to the flop sequence. So here is a flop sequence. So here is first A. So here is one A, one A. Okay, control U, fine. So here is one B, one B. And here is one C, first C, first C. Because why I'm giving you first C means this is first request and first response only. First request and first response. Now here first D. First D. Next here D. Next here the response comes to the browser window. First E. First E. This is flop sequence. Again what happens here? Now this is first. When I give the request to the particular web page of the response and the output will be generated here. Web page response output will be generated here in this, in this web page. Now here let me close. So let me use some more scrubber. Uh, here is the rubber. So instead of this one, let me select and delete to overcome this part. So here I'm selecting all the parts and removing the content. So here I removed. So this is my request. So here is the request. Now here is the request. Okay, fine. So this is first request. First uh, browser window gives the request. It reaches to the server. Server, gives, server sends the appropriate request to the uh, appropriate web resource program. Server program uh, generates the response and send the response to the browser. Before it is loading to the browser, before loading to the browser, what happens? The browser window, browser window takes the copy of that re results and displays the output. Displays the output. First D, gather the get, gets the result, get the copy, store into the buffer, and then send to the output as a response on the browser but when I give the second request but when I give the second request take an example here I'm giving the second request so this is my second request second request again second request of the same solid program let me give the name so here is second request so here is second request to the same solid program so here Second request to the same solid program again. So here the request is moving. Uh, then request is moving to the same. What happens in this phase? When the request is moving to the same solid program, so at that time, the response will be sent back to again same browser. At that time, the result, if result is available in the buffer for the same web page, then that buff browser will co copy that same content and add into the where? Add into display into the display output into the browsers. In the first in the first A to E, first A to E indicates flow of execution from first request. Flow of execution from first request. Second A, second A, next here, second B. Here is a second B again. So let me go here as a second B. So here, let me give the name. So here is second B, 2B. Again, second C. Directly, you will gather the result from second C, 2C. Fine, means 2A, so here is 2A, so here is 2A, 2A, means from 2A to 2B to the 2C, in this, in this phase, even the response sent to the same browser at that time, that, that response, newly generated response won't be displayed onto the browser, at that time, the browser will check whether that existing requested existing requested data is available in the buffer or not if it is available if it is already stored means that that data will be displayed on onto the web page as a response or as an output this is the scenario when the buffer is not disabled when the buffer is not disabled 
so second request the second request is gathering the output from the buffer browser window second request is gathering the response second request is getting the response from the so sorry here delete so actually i have to give here 2b is here only so here is 2b so here is 2b so here is 2b means second a when it, when it give the second request when it give the sec, sec, second request at that time what happens the second request related data second request request related data will be cached up from the browser will be cached up from the browser so here second day give the request to the same server program but second time at that time the browser window will check whether it contains whether it contains same request or not if it same request gather the result from the buffer and display to the browser this is the scenario along with when when the buffer is not disabled that is possible for when a buffer is enabled when the buffer is enabled so here what happens when the buffer is disabled what happens when the buffer is disabled so here when a buffer is disabled let us let us uh, open with the paint so here when the buffer is enabled let me give the name so here when the buffer is disabled and the buffer is disabled here this is the second scenario so here here is the same scenario let me draw the diagram now first request is traveling from now first request is traveling from browser to browser to appropriate servlet program here is the servlet program request one the servlet program the response will go to the browser now buffer is disabled now the buffer is disabled output comes to here now this is a response for request one so let me give the name as a let me give the name as here so let me use the black color only and let me change here so here is my request one request one so here is second case so here is second and next here is response one uh, response one response one and the output will be generated as a three output will be generated as a three but this is for first request this is for first request so next time again if you give second request again also if you give the second request so for example again i'm giving second request so this is my second request take example this is my second request so here is my second request so this is not appropriate so let me use some different color for demonstrating so here is my second request second request so here is a request number so request 2 request 2 request 2 so this is second request at that time again response will be sent request will be, uh, the request directly goes to the servlet program and the response will be sent to again browser window with new refresh so here request 2 and here uh, let me give the request 2 request to and here let me give request to let me give the name as here a for better understanding request 2a 2a here 2b 2b and here is a 2c 2c is it clear fine boss so here is this is a request one response has been generated by the server and the response is sent to the browser and the response will be loaded again if you give second request again if you give second request request goes to the server request goes to the server the response has been sent to the browser but it won't check in buffer it won't check in buffer one thing is keep your mind but in this phase now here let me uh, in the diagrams let me give the points here first a to the first e indicates indicates flow of execution flow of execution to first request next 2a to 2c indicates flow of flow of execution to second request 
second request one thing is keep your mind here take note here in this first scenario so second request second request is gathering is gathering output from is gathering output from is gathering output from buffer buffer of browser window buffer of browser window this is first scenario in this first scenario you can check it here when the buffer is not disabled in this case request to try to give but it won't go to the server what happens in this scenario in this first scenario when the buffer is not disabled at that time it will check whether the data is available in the buffer or not if it is available show the same existing result only even though solid program is ready to give the new updated result new updated result but in this case what happens every time the request will go to the server every time the request will go to the server and you will get the fresh result you will get the first result so here in this case in this case here in the second scenario here each request each request is going to servlet program this is the scenario this is the difference between this is the difference between when the buffer is disabled and when, when the buffer is enabled so the buffer the buffer of a browser window what is the need of buffer the buffer of a browser window reduces the network round trips between browser and the server across multiple same request repeating i am once again the buffer of the browser window reduces network round trips between browser and server across the multiple same request at a certain times this buffers may become this buffer may become disadvantages disadvantage for getting updated result for getting updated results from a server then we need to disable it we need to disable it by using cache control we need to disable it by using cache control or response header like as i said to you already response dot set header cache control no cache but it is based on http 1.1 server but if you are using older server like http 1.0 based on the servers at that time you have to use pragma as a property and value as a no cache so let me conclude this point when the servlet program generates home page when servlet program generates home page or about us or any static output web page kind of web pages then don't disable buffer of the browser window because because it's a static because because its response is static is static or fixed for multiple request for multiple same request okay but the scenario second scenario when a servlet program generates live cricket score page when the servlet program generates live cricket score page or share market value page like kind of pages then disable buffer of the browser window so in these like a two scenarios you can able to use a buffer you can able to disable the buffer or you can able to enable the buffer decide based on the situation or the scenario where you want to enable the buffer or where you want to disable the buffer so this is about the buffer inform so the next point is that what is the difference between request header and response headers so request header carry browser supplied internal input values to web resource program these values are very useful in request processing and response headers carry server or servlet program supplied instruction to browser window towards displaying web pages on browser window okay once fine this is the end of today's session